Hi, this is Dave Weiss from Amok Arts here with a project that you can do that will really help you to reach out to your community. I did this one at Drexel University in Philadelphia with a ministry called Peace and Power and another ministry called The Foundry, two campus ministries that are working to serve the community there. This is a project that's really easier than it looks. It's called Italian Street Painting, and uh, the students asked me to come down there along with some ministry folks to teach them how to do this as a way to reach out to the people on their campus. Uh, it's really a lot easier. Most of the folks that were with us weren't art majors. It was just a great time, and uh, you really get to talk to other people because it's just huge works of art done on the sidewalk or on the street. It starts off with a scale drawing, simply a smaller drawing that's proportional to the larger piece that you want to do. We did three pieces that day. You start off by gridding off the area. You uh, measure off the area that you want and then you snap chalk lines using carpenter's chalk line to give you the grid that you trace. And then you take the drawing, your smaller drawing, and you draw what exists in the smaller boxes in the larger boxes and it makes you able to very easily do a very large piece that looks pretty much exactly like the smaller piece. As you can see there's quite a few people working on each piece and it just all works together very well. As you look at this, remember a lot of these folks aren't art majors. Most of them are engineering majors because it's an engineering school or business majors. Now, once you start to, uh, once you have your drawing drawn, and the next step is very simply just to fill it in as if you were painting. Um, you start in, usually when I do it by myself, I start off in one corner in the top left corner because I'm right handed and work my way out. It's also very messy, so make sure you wear uh, clothes that are, uh, that you don't mind getting dirty. Uh, also, a pair of knee pads helps very much. But you just continue to fill in the areas and uh, fill them in as you go. Now, working with this many people, of course, there were people all around. And as you can see, they, they did a really nice job. And you really don't smudge it up too bad if you work over it. Uh, about the only limitation of this is you really have to do it in a place where, in a, on a day where it's not raining. Uh, rain, of course, will wash it away but they come out very beautifully. It's very easy to do and what happens is because you're working on something so large eventually people will come up and talk to you. Uh, one of the reasons that I do some of the images that I do uh, is because we want to attract attention to uh, this without actually overtly giving them the gospel because we want to get have the opportunity to talk to people about what we're doing. Uh, the image that you're seeing now is an image I call dichotomy. It's an image of Christ, but it's an image of Christ as the lion of the tribe of Judah and as the lamb of God. And uh, it works because you get to share exactly what you're doing. We had people coming up to us all day. And again, these are first time, I don't think any of these people except me had done this before. And look at the progress that they're making. Look how cool these things have come out. Uh, it's fairly easy. Uh, we bought really inexpensive chalks at a, at a local art store. It was $5 for a set of 48 chalks, uh, which was really pretty nice. And we used about $75 worth of chalk. Uh, you see the dragon image here. The Drexel logo is the dragon, and the church that was mainly sponsoring this was the foundry. So we had this idea of the foundry pouring into the dragon. Uh, and it worked because, you know, we talked about how the, the, the foundry was, is a church that's coming in to pour into the people. There was also a gospel choir concert that evening. So one of the pieces that we did was in promotion of their concert that night. This was the week that the new students came to Drexel. And so it was a great time to uh, share about campus ministries the new students could come to in the fall. I thought these folks did a really great job. And I think you can do it too. If you want to try this for yourself and you need more information, go ahead and contact me at amuckarts.com and I'd be more than glad to help you get it started. It's a great way to reach people and share your love of God through the arts. God bless.